I'm going to melt this rubber band through this playing card in ultra slow motion. Watch. A rubber band and a playing card. I'm going to wrap the band around the card. Please stand up to keep a better view. As you will see, but you can see the band around the card. Watch what happens. If I find just the right sweet spot, I can actually begin to melt that band slowly and visually. <laughs> in this video, I'm going to teach you how to melt a rubber band through a playing card in ultra slow. Now there are a ton of ways to achieve this effect. You can make the rubber band go through your hand, through different objects, through playing cards, but usually the magic happens so fast that you blink and you miss it. Wait, what? What just happened? If you already follow me and my channel, you'll know that I upload weekly tutorials showing you how I take traditional pieces of magic where the magic happens sometimes too quickly to see, and I like to show you how I create those crazy looking CGI visuals, but without the CGI. Because I think it's really important with the modern day, especially with 4K cameras that people can rewind back and forth, that you really let people see the magic happen. I started experimenting with a bunch of different methods, some that involve rubber, some that involve weird mechanical moving parts on the playing card, and one that even actually used butter. Until eventually I came up with the most practical and easiest method of all. This could be the method. Oh, I love this. Which is the trick you saw at the beginning. So now, let's watch the final full performance and then I'll teach you straight away how to make the gimmick and perform it yourself at home. But first, if you'd like to win my custom designed moonshine playing cards that are fully marked, and one of the last packs that I ever actually have remaining, then all you need to do is subscribe to the channel and comment something down below, and I'll pick a winner by next week and ship it to you for free anywhere you are in the world. Let's learn how to do the trick. Watch the rubber band, watch the playing card. I'm gonna wrap that rubber band around the playing card just like this, so that you can see everything, everywhere, all at once. Now watch what happens next, because all I have to do is just pull, and you'll see that band begin to visually melt all the way through the playing card. Take two playing cards and drop one and cut the other in half. Magically pick up the piece and then add some double stick tape here. And finally, stick the other half of the card on top of the double stick tape, just like this. And that's your gimmick. Pro tip, if you want to do a version where you can do this with a signed card, rub down a lot of the double stick tape so that this doesn't stick so much and at the end you can palm the piece off. So this is my point of view when I perform the trick. I have the rubber band between my thumb and middle finger and I hold the card at this edge here covering the gap. I say I'm going to place the card between the two strands of the band, which I do. And as I do it, I secretly wedge the band under the playing card flap, just like that. Now, as I bring my hand down to apparently give the audience a better angle, I'm going to like, as if I lean the card to the floor, I'm going to secretly move this strand on top of the card. Okay, so it goes like this and on top. At the same time with my left hand, I'm going to move my thumb in front of this strand, okay? So this band is here. I use my index finger to pull until the band clears that edge. And then my thumb comes over and sort of pins it down like that. Okay, that happens as I come parallel with the floor. And then I can re-grip this band just like this. And that's the main part of the move. Now I can sort of release the pressure and slowly pull the band from the line of the card. From the front it looks like this. I place the card through the band. I'm secretly wedging it under. As I bring the card down to the floor to give the audience a better angle, this right hand is going to block most of all the dirty moves that are happening. But just to expose it, this band comes on top. 
and I re-grip like this. And then I can just begin to pull the band out. Two tips is that it's good to tip the card really far forward to hide this edge. Keep the card straight in line with the spectators. If you pull the band, make sure you keep this wide because it makes a better illusion in like that triangle shape. And the last important tip is to push up with your ring finger against the card and that will stop this being exposed. See how that you can maybe see that? But if I push up, it hides it quite well. And the final and most important tip is that you want light behind you. So you can see if there's light from this angle, it makes a dark shadow. But when you turn it towards the light, the shadow becomes invisible. And that's the main secret to make this trick work. So it goes through the band, I reposition, I clear this edge, and now I can begin to make the band melt through the card. If you want to do this with a signed card that can be inspected later, then all you do is take this half piece and apply the double stick tape to it. And then dab it on your clothes so that it's not very sticky anymore. Now you do the effect exactly the same way that we've just learned, but as soon as you finish, you hand the rubber band to the audience so they can examine the rubber band and it distracts them for just enough time so that you can very quickly steal that piece off the card into your palm, all right? So the way that works is literally the piece is on here. I cover it with my hand and steal it off like that, okay? And it just looks like I'm just flicking the card. I've now stolen the piece and they can go ahead and keep everything. Just remember, when you are performing this in the real world for people, you want to perform it one-on-one -on -one or one-on-two. -on -two. You don't really want loads of people around you looking in from the wings down the side of the gimmick. But the fun part is getting creative with this concept. So you don't just have to use playing cards, you can use other objects too. You can use two old credit cards if you have two identical old credit cards. Maybe use dollar bills or different currency depending on where you are in the world. What I find is the more random and unique the object, the more visual and possible this looks. So get out there, get creative and start experimenting with what looks good to use for this effect. If you want to learn another visual magic trick just like this, then I recommend watching this video next. Then once you're done with that, go up and binge the rest of the content on my channel where there's a ton more tutorials. And if you like what you see, maybe think about subscribing because I'm back every single week for Tutorial Tuesday where I teach you brand new, unique and original magic tricks every single week. I hope to see you all very, very soon. Peace.